Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, everybody. Hola, buenas noches. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. Yay. <laughs> Welcome. A ver, ¿qué tal? Yo veo que hay bastantes conectados y solo como tres me, me dijeron, good evening, teacher. ¿De ahí nobody else? <laughs> what happened? Stop drinking coffee, everybody. All right. You can drink coffee. You can drink coffee after the class. All right. Welcome, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to know you. Es un placer conocerlos. Es un placer estar aquí con ustedes. Vamos a iniciar nuestra clase en unos breves segundos, creo yo. Ya, ya, ya ahora. Sí. Ah, pues sí. Iniciamos. <ríe> All right, voy a compartir con ustedes la presentación. Bienvenidos nuevamente. Será un gusto poder trabajar con ustedes y saquémosle el máximo provecho a esta clase, ¿verdad? Let's see. Como ustedes quizás ya tienen en cuenta o ya saben, vamos a trabajar esta clase, pues obviamente en inglés, right? Pero vamos a ir haciendo unas translations, hay unas traducciones, unas interpretaciones para ayudarnos y facilitarles a ustedes el proceso de aprendizaje, right? Mi meta es que ustedes cumplan su meta, right? Que es aprender. Así que, let's get started, my friends. So, my sister works downtown. ¿Qué les voy a recomendar? All right? Ya, vamos, ya iniciamos la clase, pero solamente les quiero recomendar que si pueden tener un cuaderno para sus anotaciones, you're welcome to, all right? Es excelente que hagan eso. Porque así van sacando ustedes materiales eh, para ustedes mismos, para su propio estudio, all right? Y pues cuando tienen tiempo libre pueden chequearlo. Así que, let's get started. My name, my name is Febe Arevalo, all right? Ese es mi nombre, es, es bastante complicado. <ríe> Febe Arevalo. You can call me Miss Arevalo. Si ustedes desean, pueden llamarme Miss Arevalo en dado caso necesiten algo. O simplemente pueden decirme teacher, right? Teacher. That's okay. So let's move on. Classroom language, all right. Ya vamos a llegar a la parte esencial de la plataforma, right? El contenido de la sección. Sin embargo, there are some things that I want to share with you. Hay algunas cosas que quiero que ustedes adquieran para que ya vayan utilizando el lenguaje, right? So let's see, we have classroom language. Siempre que ustedes quieran preguntarme algo, pueden decir, Miss, I have a question, all right? En vez de decirme, teacher, tengo una pregunta, all right? Pueden decirme, Miss Arevalo, o solo Miss. Right? O teacher, I have a question. Ya con eso ustedes están empezando a utilizar el vocabulario que necesitan. Number two, Miss, how do you say tijera in English? En vez de decirme, Miss, mire, ¿cómo se dice esto o tal cosa en inglés? Miss, how do you say tijera in English? Tijera está en Spanish, right? Y ya yo les ayudo. Ah, scissor. O oh, Miss, how do you say ropa in English? How do you say escritorio in English? All right? All those things. And then we have number three. Miss, can you repeat that again? If by any chances, You need me to repeat something, let me know, all right? Si por algún motivo ustedes necesitan que yo repita algo, háganme saber. Yo me voy a encargar de siempre preguntarles, is there a question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta o alguno que les pueda ayudar? Si ya expliqué el tema, por ejemplo, all right? Ustedes pueden decirme en ese momento, Miss, can you repeat that again? All right? ¿Puede repetir eso? Esto es con el fin de ayudarlos a que si quedó algo que quizás no estaba... Eh, bien explícito, pues se puede retomar. All right. So let's practice. Quiero escuchar algunos de ustedes. Let's see. Um, we have William, I think. William. Yes, William, please tell me your last name. Me dice su apellido, por favor. No quiero repetirlo más. William. Eh, good evening. Good evening. Eh, perdón, ¿me escucha? Yes. Yes, ah, ok, es que fíjese que eh, 
El curso pasado tenía problemas con el audio, no me escuchaban. Entonces me tocó desinstalarlo como 10 veces e volverlo a instalar y no me daba la opción. Pues, pero veo que hoy sí. Yes, sir. Ahora sí le funciona. Saquemos provecho. <ríe> Excelente. So, William, cuál... dígame yes. su last name, dígame su apellido. Eh, Liborio. Liborio. Excelente. Ok. Um, can you please tell me the first item? Esto, el del cuadrito anaranjado. Read it. Me lo lee. Eh, ok. Miss Arevalo, I have a question. Exactly. Exactly. Si usted no sabe cómo figurar la pregunta en inglés, no se preocupe, right? Ahí ya puede aprovechar usted de decirme la pregunta en español. Pero con esto iniciamos a utilizar el lenguaje en inglés. Right? Miss Arevalo, I have a question. Miss, tengo una pregunta. Eso es lo que se me pide. Right? Excellent, William. Thank you. Let's go with Elizabeth Hiron, please. Elizabeth, number two. Okay, sure. Miss, how do you say... Lentes in English. Ah, very good. Glasses. Excellent. Very good. There you have it. Let's go with. Let me check. Mm. Check. Jose Garcia, please. Number three. Okay, teacher. Can you repeat that again? Exactly, sir. Excellent. Very good. Can you repeat that again? All right. Entonces ahí ya mi Sarevalo se rebusca para volverles a explicar algo para que quede neat. All right, everybody, let's move on. Introducing yourselves. All right. Ya aquí vamos, no vamos a tardarnos mucho, all right. Esto solo lo hago para que, para ver cómo vamos con este language. <laughs> let's see. Mm, let me check. It says, hello, my name is. Fede Arevalo, that's my name, right? Fede Arevalo. I am 24 years old. I work as an English teacher. I live in El Salvador. I'm Salvadorian, right? So let me see some of you. Algo que les quiero explicar. Aquí donde dice, I work as a teacher, es yo trabajo como docente, right? Pero si ustedes no quieren decirme en qué trabajan, o solamente quieren decir el lugar, Pueden decir, I work in, ¿verdad? I work in, o simplemente omiten esa parte, right? That's just to have a chit chat with you. Let's see. Let me check. Let's go with Carla Alemán. Hello, Carla, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you, Carla? I'm fine. Excellent, very good. Okay, Carlita, please introduce yourself with us. Teacher, solamente comentarle algo. Fíjese que este día, teacher, eh, yo entro un poquito tarde, pero le quería comentar que no tengo cámara porque me hicieron una, un procedimiento en la vista. Entonces, solamente estoy escuchando. Pero eso lo iba a comentar al inicio de la clase porque ya mañana sigo yo. Ah, ok, Carlita, don't worry. Entonces, si quiere, dejamos lo de la introducción para otro día. All right. Sí, porque solo, solo estoy en escucha por, por lo de la vista que no puedo tener ahorita um, en cámara. All right, excellent. Don't worry. All right, don't worry. No problem. Let's go with some other friend. Let me check Eva Argueta. Oh, I hope you get better. Por cierto, espero que se recupere. Right, Carlita? Let's go. Thank you, teacher. Let's go with Eva Argueta, please. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. I am fine. I'm sorry, my friend. No le pregunté, how are you? How are you, Evita? <laughs> my name is Eva. Eva, all right. I am. Mm. ¿Cuántos años tiene? 42. Ah, I am 42. Repeat after me. I am 42. Evita, are you there? Estoy mm -hmm. un poco nerviosa. Ay, no. Estoy un poco okay. right. desorientada ahorita. No se preocupe, aquí todos estamos nerviosos la primera mm -hmm. vez. Right, Ay, perdón, la pregunta dice, pregunta el nombre, la edad y el lugar donde vive. 
¿Sí ve? Uh -huh. En el lugar donde uh -huh. trabaja. Si usted quiere, ah. puedo omitir eso. Solo me dice su nombre y su edad. Hi, my name is Eva. I am 42 years. 42? I lie in El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Right, excellent. There you have it. Now you see? Easy. Ya vea, fácil. Right? Let's go. Thank you, Eva. It's a pleasure. All right? Let's see. Let's have Ceci Hernandez. Hi, Ceci. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you, Ceci? Fine, thanks. Excellent, very good. So, introduce yes. yourself, please. Okay. Hello, my name is Cecilia de Hernandez. I am secretary. Oh, me equivoqué. No worries. No se preocupe. Mm -hmm. Sería, hello, my name is Cecilia de Hernandez. I am... 37 years old. I work as a secretary. I live in El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Perfect, my friend. Excellent. That was perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Excellent. There you have it. All right, everyone. Les voy a decir ahí. Tranquilos, no estén nerviosos. <laughs> All right. Ustedes no se imaginan, yo ni he cenado de los nervios. All right. Don't worry. Esto es parte de su aprendizaje. Solo quería chequear cómo estamos, all right, para ayudarles. Y si no, ponerle más empeño a esto, eh, a esta parte de la introduction, right? Cuando nos estamos introduciendo o presentando a una persona, porque esto es como lo más basic, ¿verdad? Tenemos que aprenderlo y pues ahí es donde yo les quiero ayudar. Let's go with William Liborio. Ajá, William. Your turn. Okay, hello, my name is William Liborio. I am 42 years old. I work as a Ministerio de Hacienda. Mm -hmm. I live in El Salvador. I'm Salvadorian. That's correct, sir. Excellent, very good. Nice to meet you, William. Nice to meet you too. Excellent, let me check. Marta de Acosta, please, Marta. Good night. Hello, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Hello, my name is Marta de Acosta. I am four years old. I work as uh, an office. I live in San Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Excellent, very good, Martita. Bueno, Marta. Usted me dice si quiere que le diga Martita, all right? <laughs> nice to meet you. All right, nice everybody. Let's check this one. Si yo quiero decir la profesión en la que trabajo, puedo utilizar as a, como vieron que tenía yo ahí, ¿verdad? As a. Pero si ustedes quieren decir el lugar, pueden cambiarlo por in. I work in inglés corporativo. All right? En mi caso, I work in inglés corporativo. Y ya no tengo, si yo quiero digo as a teacher, o oh, oh no, ¿verdad? Solo lo mismo. So there you have it. Let's go with, let me check, Jacqueline Campos. Good evening, Jacqueline. Good evening. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm great. High five, thank you. <laughs> High five, thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, Jacqueline, can you please introduce yourself? Uh, okay. Hello, my name is, is Jacqueline. I am 43 years old. I work as a school. I am living in El Salvador. I am Salvador. Thank you. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. Thank you. There you have it. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Let me check. All right, guys. Because of the time, I'm only gonna, I'm only going to choose two more people. All right, let's see, Arnoldo Castellón. Hello, hello. good evening. Mm, hello, my name is Arnoldo Castellón. 
I am 41 years old. I work as Consejo Superior de Salud Pública. I, I, I live in El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Very good. Nice to meet you, Arnoldo. Nice to meet you, too. Excellent. Very good. And let me check somebody else. Vilma Contreras, please. Maybe she's busy. Let's see Damaris Vega, please. Hello, my name is Damaris Vega. I am 33 years old. I work in Consejo Superior de Salud Pública. I live in El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. All right, excellent. Very really good, Damaris. Nice to meet you. All right, everybody. Nice excellent. All right, everyone. Ya a medida del tiempo pasa, nos vamos a ir conociendo a los demás, right? It's a pleasure to be here with you. So let's get started with the information from the platform. All right, we're going to move to the platform. Ustedes van a ver en mis presentaciones, PowerPoint, que yo tengo el contenido de la platform. Lo plasmo aquí para que ustedes tengan más tiempo de practicar, right? Que eso es lo que más se necesita cuando estamos aprendiendo un idioma, right? So let me move on. Ahorita nos vamos a ir para la platform. Let me share with you. Ahí está. ¿Ven la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Let me check. We have a message. Okay. Don't worry, Bill. It's okay. All right. So we have the lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about transportation. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates the topic. So let's see, what do we have? Let's check. No se oye el audio, teachers. Really? Really? A todos les pasa lo mismo. All right, sí. Hey, ¿Te escuchas sí, no, suave? Yes. no se oye. Ay, check the audio then. Let me check. If not, don't worry. Si no, no se preocupen. Solo les quería poner el video, pero es el mismo contenido que tenemos en la PPT. So, nos podemos ir a la PPT y verlo de ahí. Ok. Don't worry. Let me check. No se escucha. Ay, ah, yeah, it's true. No se escuchaba. Qué raro. Pero estaba compartiendo la pantalla. Well, voy a chequear eso later. Pero ahorita no vamos a perder más tiempo. Here we go. We have transportations in the US. The top eight ways to get to work All right. Antes de conversar, antes de comenzar con eso, quiero decirles algo. Si en dado caso ustedes necesitan mi ayuda para trabajar alguno de los ejercicios de la plataforma, pueden pedirme, all right? No hay ningún problema. Solamente que para ahorrarnos tiempo en la búsqueda de los ejercicios, siempre me dicen la sección y el ejercicio específicamente, all right? Please, me dicen, por ejemplo, section 1, exercise 1.5. Eh, la sección 1 la lección 1.5 y el número de ejercicio, right? Así de un solo me voy yo a localizarlo y les doy la respuesta. O les brindo ayuda. So let's see. Let's go back to this one. Transportation in the U.S. Number one, drive. Number two, walk. Number three, take the bus. Four, take the subway. Five, take the train. Six, ride a bike. Seven, ride a motorcycle. Eight, take a taxi, cab, right? It's the same, taxi or cab is the same thing. So I will say it one more time and then you will tell me the vocabulary. 
right? Lo voy a decir una vez más y luego ustedes me lo van a decir a mí. Here we go. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi. All right? Ahora les toca a ustedes. Si necesitan ayuda, let me know, right? Si necesitan ayuda, me avisan. Here we go. Let's start with Alejandro García, please. Let's check. Hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening. All right, Alejandro, me regala el vocabulary, hey. please. Drive, walk, take the bus, take a subway, take the train, ride the bike, ride the motorcycle. ¿Cómo se pronuncia motocicleta? Motorcycle. Motorcycle, mm -hmm. take a taxi. Excellent, very good, bravo. Thank you, sir. Let me make this one bigger for you. the other ones. All right, let's go with. Nancy Gutierrez, please tell me the vocabulary. Okay. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the, rain, the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, and take a taxi. Excellent. Very good, Nancy. Thank you. Now, in this one, everybody, this one, take the bus, all right? Yo sé que me van a decir, mis, pero se escribe bus, all right? No, pero tenemos que pronunciar la bus. Así es, that's the correct pronunciation. Y aquí vamos con todo, listening, speaking, writing, and grammar, todo junto, all right? Entonces, take the bus. Let's go with Elizabeth Giron, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Okay, teacher, drive, walk, take the bus. Take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, uh, ride a motorcycle, and take a taxi. That's correct. Thank you. Let me check somebody else. Carlos Antonio, please tell me the vocabulary. Okay. Drive, walk, take a bus, take a subway, take a train, ride a bike. Right, the Morissette, they attack. Excellent, thank you. All right, action, Jose. Excuse me, teacher. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Me dice el vocabulary, por favor. Okay, drive, walk, take the bus. Take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi. Excellent, thank you. All right, very good. Si en algún momento vuelvo a pasar a alguien que ya pasó, let me know, me avisan, all right? Let's go with Jacqueline Campos. All right, um, guide, walk, take, a, take the bus, Take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi. Thank you. Let me go with Damaris Vega, please. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, Ride a motorcycle, take a taxi cab. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. <coughs> now, listen, guys, in this one, no sé si ustedes ya han escuchado el verbo talk de hablar, ¿verdad? Lleva T H L K T A L K. ¿Qué sucede? No pronunciamos la L. Lo mismo sucede con walk, right? Pronunciamos walk, la L no se pronuncia. Van a ir viendo poco a poco. Ahorita no vamos a profundizar mucho en la gramática de eso. Pero eso ya es como un patrón establecido que ellos tienen en su grabar, right En este caso no vamos a pronunciar la L, solamente decimos walk. Walk, right Hasta un, es un poco más 
fácil, podríamos decir, porque a veces nos rebuscamos por pronunciar la L y it's not needed. No es necesario. Now, let me go with Ana Maritza. Please, Anita, or Ana, tell me the vocabulary. Where is she? Uh -huh. <laughs> Open your microphone. And microphone on it. Y si necesita ayuda a decir el vocabulario, yo lo puedo decir con usted. All right? Solo me avisa. <laughs> Right, motocicleta y ride a motorcycle. I am Motorcycle. No sé si me logró escuchar. Motorcycle. 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 All right, excellent. Thank you, Ana. Yes, I see we have some issues with the internet. Don't worry, Ana. It's okay. Thank you. Now let's go with William Liborio, Thank please. Okay. Uh, drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Angel. I know I can't say that for Angel Cano, please. Drive. Se le apagó el micrófono. ¿Me, ¿Me escuchan ahora? Sí, yes. Ok, thank you. Thank you, yep. teacher. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a car. That's correct. Excellent. Listen, you guys. We can think. That was great, Angel. Thank you. Thank you. All right, listen, you guys. ¿Por qué estamos viendo el vocabulary? ¿Y por qué estamos pasando todos, teacher? Por aquí se inicia, all right? Si no tenemos vocabulary, muy difícilmente vamos a poder desarrollar otras cosas que son gramaticalmente hablando eh, un poco difíciles, right? Entonces, con el vocabulary ya tenemos algo que nos sostiene y por eso quiero ayudarles a todos a ver cómo estamos con esa pronunciation. Let me hear... All right. Douglas Álvarez, ¿usted ya pasó? Or no? Hola, hola, hello. Eh, hello. No, aún no. Okay, tell me the vocabulary, please. Okay. Drive, walk, eh, take the bus, take the subway, take the rain, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, y take a taxi. That's correct, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Eva Argueta. Aha, Eva, tell me the vocabulary. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bus, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi. That's correct, thank you. And Alba Duarte, please, Alba, tell me the vocabulary. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Drive, walk, Take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Very good, you guys. You're doing pretty great with the pronunciation. I'm happy for that. All right. Let's move on, everybody. 
Si me hizo falta alguien, please let me know. Que no haya tenido la participación ahorita, todavía estamos a tiempo para que me digan. Ceci, ok, Ceci, please. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi. That's correct, excellent, very good, Ceci. All right, everyone, there you have it. This is basic vocabulary about transportation, all right? Everyone, si en algún momento ven que hablo solo la clase en inglés, me avisan, all right? Por si quieren que lo digan en Spanish, it's okay, all right? How do you get to work? How do you get to work? Hmm, what are some other kinds of transportation? La pregunta, how do you get to work? ¿Cómo llegamos al trabajo? Right? I drive to work. I take the bus. I ride my bike to work. All right? Yo creo que no a todos se nos hace bien factible. <laughs> La última, ¿verdad? I ride my bike to work. Sería como más fácil y less expensive, más barato o económico, pero no se puede. So let's see, we have three options. Remember, I drive to work, I take the bus, I ride my bike to work. Tres opciones, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Voy a preguntarle a tres personas y después voy a elegir a otras para que pregunten y otras respondan, ¿ok? So let's start. Ángel, please. How do you get to work, Ángel? I take the bus. Excellent, very good, thank you. You're welcome. Alba Duarte, how do you get to work, Albita? Um, I drive to work. All right, excellent, very good. And the last one, Daisy Carolina. Good evening, Daisy. Good evening, no sé si me escuchan. Yes, yes. I write my back. To work. Really? Excellent. Uh, <laughs> gracias. That's cool. Good for you. Si no gastan gasolina. <laughs> Now, ahora escojo a otras tres personas que van a preguntarles a otras tres personas. So, let's see. William, usted pregunta, escoja a alguien, por favor, de su grupo. ¿A quién le va a preguntar? Hey, teacher. Uh, hey. And Daisy Carolina. Okay, excellent. Uh, Daisy, how do you get to work? At the bus. All right, excellent. I take the bus. Very good. Thank you. What about Ceci Hernandez? Please, Ceci, you ask and choose someone to answer your question. Usted pregunta, pero escoja alguien. Um, Marta uh, de Acosta, how do you get to work? I try to work. Excellent, very good, thank you. Thank you. Let me check somebody else. Elizabeth Firon, please. Okay, teacher. Choose someone. Escoja a alguien. Ángel Cano. All right. Excellent. How do you get to work? I take the bus. Mm, very okay. good. Very good. Excellent. All right. There you have it, guys. Very simple, right? One question, different choices or different answers. But it's pretty simple. How do you get to work? Let me... Check somebody else, Damaris. Okay, Damaris, select someone. Escoja a alguien. Solo que no sea eh, Daisy ni Ángel, porque yo ya pasé los tres veces. Okay. Right. Eh, Alejandro García. How do you get to work? I take the bus. Good, okay, thank you. 
Thank you. And Nancy Gutierrez. Okay, Nancy, choose someone. Okay, how did you get to work? Escojo a Douglas Alvarez. All right. Aha, Douglas. Hello, hello. There you are. Uh -huh. Let me check. Nancy, ask again. Pregunte de nuevo, please. How did you get to work? I take the bus. Excellent. There you have it, guys. Pretty simple. Let's get into a conversation. This conversation is going to be really cool. All right. First things first. La primera vez, ahorita se las voy a leer yo toda la conversation. Second time, la segunda vez, uno de ustedes va a participar conmigo. Tercera vez, la tercera vez, ya van ustedes solos. All right. Here we go. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad, right? So let's see, do I have any volunteer? Tengo algún voluntario que quiera ser de Jason o de Ashley? Raise your hand. Levantan su mano, ya sea virtual o any hand. All right, we have, let's check. Tenemos a Elizabeth, comencemos con Elizabeth y luego Douglas, okay? Let's go, Elizabeth. Usted va a ser Ashley. Okay, Ashley. teacher. Nice car, Jason. Is yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the service? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus, it's really slow. That's too bad. All right, excellent girl, very good. There you have it. Now let's go with Douglas. Okay, Douglas, you are Jason, I'm Ashley, okay? Okay. Nice car, Jason, is it yours? No, it is my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Excellent, sir. Very good, we're doing good. Now, ahora sí, ya los dejo solitos. All right, let's see, let's have Angel, you are Jason, and let me check. And Ceci Hernandez, you are Ashley, action. Thank you. Uh, um, empiezo yo. Sí, yes. Ceci. Nice car, Jason, it is, is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public tra transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our, our house. So they take the bus, it's really slow. That's too bad. Excellent, both of you, very good, very good. It was really excellent. Let me go with Alejandro Garcia, you are Jason. Let me look for you and Ashley. 
Déjenme le busco una, una, una Ashley. Let me check. Marta, please. Marta de Acosta. You are Ashley. Your microphone, Marta. Se le apagó. Okay. Nice car, Jason. It is yours. No, it is my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in this suburb? No, it is downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train. Doesn't, doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That is too bad. Excellent. Both of you, very good. Very good. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Um, do we have? Uh, please let me know. Yo sé que algunos de ustedes tienen los audífonos, all right? Me avisan si estoy siendo muy ruidosa, <laughs> please. All right. Entonces, no quiero dañarles ahí sus oídos. Let me go with William Liborio, please. Let me see. You are going with Damaris Vega. All right, William, you are Jason. Damaris, you are Ashley. Action. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She was a new Joe and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it, no, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. Uh, That's, That's too bad. Excellent. Very good. There you have it, guys. Excellent. Simple as that. All right. Las conversations no solamente son útiles para que ustedes utilicen el idioma, sino que también para que adquieran new vocabulary. All right. So let's go with Jacqueline Campos. Jacqueline, usted no ha pasado, right? No. Excellent. Ustedes, Ashley, Arnoldo, ustedes, Jason. Action. Okay. Okay. Na okay. Nice car, Jason. It is yours? No. It's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No. It's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they, let, so they take the bus. It is really slow. That's the bus. Huh? Right, excellent. Both of you, very good, very good. We're having a good care. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, I have a question. Yes, let me know. How's the meaning suburbs? Suburbs. Son los suburbios. All right. Ah, okay. eh, literalmente eso significa, pero en, otro, en otros países eso es como, como ¿qué les diría aquí en nuestro país? ¿Qué serían los suburbios? La residencial. Ajá. Kind of. Ah, okay. Parecido a eso. All right. Okay, exactly. thank you. You're welcome, All right? Now, let me check. Daisy, Daisy, you are Ashley, Daisy Carolina, and Jose Garcia, you are Jason. And this is the last pair. Vamos a quedarnos solo con esta pareja y nos vamos a mover a otro contenido. Action. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No. It's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here is the suburb? 
No, it's downtown. My parents born downtown, but they don't drive to board. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The trains don't start near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Excellent. There you have it. Very good. Now, everyone, let's move on. We already practiced the conversation. Teacher. Uh huh. I have a question. Uh huh. Let me know. Really, too. Um, en la parte de Jason, en la, en la primera intervención, dice: No, it's, it's my sister. Uh -huh. Yes. No sería solo it's my sisters. O, o por qué se repiten los dos apóstrofes. Ah, es que uno es del verb to be y el otro es de posesión. Ah. De los possessive, okay. possessive pronouns o possessive adjectives, right? En ese Thank caso, you. eh, you're welcome. Me voy a extender un poquito ahí para darle una, una amplia, sí. algo más amplio. En el sisters es porque estamos hablando de que es posesión de ella, right? Y por eso se aplica ahí en el now. Y en el otro es porque ya tenemos un subject que sería it y solo se le pone el verb to be. Right? Para Sorry. que no solo vaya it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It, my sisters, no sonaría, ni, ni siquiera suena bien, right? Sí. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Very good, y el, sir. Y el otro es eh, that's too bad. Ah, that's too bad. That's too bad. Yo lo había, o sea, o también puede ser that's so bad. Aquí. That's so bad. Sí, sí, también puede hacerlo. Either or, tiene las dos options. Ok. Thank you. Very good. Actually. Teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh -huh. eh, 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 una opinión. Yes. Sería posible que se traduzca todo el diálogo para comprenderlo mejor, como es en inglés, o no, no se puede. We can translate it, claro que sí, se puede traducir. Más que todo interpretar, pero sí podemos traducir, ¿eh? aunque traducirlo toma más tiempo. Por lo menos para ir comprendiendo el, yeah. el diálogo en sí, cuál es lo que se tiene que decir. Porque pues eh, hablamos español y, y queríamos saber cómo se habla en inglés con las palabras. Very good. Claro que sí. Thank you. Thank you. Vamos a hacer ahorita eso, una translation breve, porque ustedes en el video también ya lo tienen traducido a la par. So, Ashley dice, hey, qué lindo carro, qué carro más eh, llamativo, Jason. Es tuyo. No es de mi hermana. Tiene un nuevo trabajo y le toca trabajar hacia el trabajo. Le toca trabajar. Le, tro le toca manejar hacia el trabajo, right? She drives to work. And her job here is her job here in the suburbs. Es su trabajo en los suburbios. No, it's downtown. No, es en la ciudad. My parents work downtown. Mis padres trabajan en la ciudad. But they don't drive to work. Pero ellos no manejan hacia el trabajo. They use public transportation. Utilizan el transporte público. The bus or the train. El bus o el tren. The train doesn't stop near our house. El tren no para cerca de nuestro hogar o de nuestra casa. So they take the bus. Así que toman el bus. It's really slow. Es bien lento o es muy lento. That's too bad. Eso está muy mal. O oh, qué feo eso, ¿verdad? <laughs> All right. Ya si lo hacen así. Se puede traducir también. Gracias, thank you. Excellent, Carlos. You have it. All right. Very good, guys. Now, any other question? Otra pregunta acerca del diálogo antes de que pasemos al simple present statements? No, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Let's move on. Simple present statements. ¿Para qué necesitamos las conversations? Para introducirnos al tema, right? Positive statements or negative statements. En toda 
en todo tiempo gramatical, ustedes van a tener positive, también lo conocemos como affirmative, y negative statements, también questions. All right? So here we go. I walk to school. You ride your bike to school. He works near here. She takes the bus to work. We live with our parents. They use public transportation, right? Eso sería en positive. Let's go to negative. I don't live far from here. You don't live near here. He doesn't work downtown. She doesn't drive to work. We don't live alone. They don't need a car. Contractions, don't equals do not. Instead of using the long form, en vez de utilizar la forma larga que sería el do not, utilizamos la contraction que sería don't. También utilizamos doesn't que es para tercera persona singular, right? Does not. Now, let's check in this one. Voy a ser bien honesta con ustedes. Hay cosas en el idioma inglés que no se pueden traducir literalmente del inglés al español, all right? Se le puede dar una interpretation, pero other than that, no da más, right? En este caso, ya van a ver ustedes con el don't. El don't es nuestro auxiliar. No tiene en sí un... Que ustedes me digan, Miss, el, el don't, ¿qué significa así literalmente? No, eso se utiliza como un auxiliar negativo. Si ustedes se fijan aquí en la parte de los positive statements, tenemos los verbos, right? Tenemos los verbos como walk, ride, works, takes, live, and use. Estos son nuestros verbos que nos ayudan a hacerlo de manera afirmativa. Affirmative. Pero si lo queremos hacer de manera negativa, yo no puedo decir walking, right? O walking. No, no podemos agregarle ni inventarle. Solo utilizamos el auxiliar que la regla gramatical nos pide. By the way, ya la vamos a ver, right? La regla gramatical. So let's see. Let's start. Quiero escuchar algunos de ustedes. Hmm. Alba Duarte. Please tell me positive statements. Usted va a hacer los positive statements y Alejandro García, usted va a hacer los negative statements. Vamos a ir uno y uno, please. Por ejemplo, Alba inicia, I went to school, y Alejandro dice, I don't live far from here. Actually, okay. okay. I went to a school. I don't walk to a school. Oh, over here. Oh. No, sería como están ahí. Sí, I don't sí. leave it. Far from here. Tenía que decir o no. I don't live far from here, Alejandro. Ok, ok. You I don't right? live. Uh -huh. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to a school? You don't live near here? He works near here. He doesn't walk work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She does doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Excellent. Very good pronunciation, you guys. Thank you. Now, let's Thank just, you. Alejandro, please repeat after me. Live. All right. Well, there you have it. In this one, everyone, don't. Okay. Tenía apagado el micrófono. I don't live near here. Excellent. Very good. Live. Let me go with. William Liborio en Ángel Cano, please. William, ustedes positive statements. Angel, you are negative. La misma manera como trabajaron sus compañeros anteriormente. Ok. I walk to a school. Ángel. 
mensaje. Veo que tiene el micrófono encendido, pero no se le escucha. Hola. Yes, now we hear you. Hoy sí. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Don't worry. I don't. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't live, sorry, she doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. That's correct, excellent. Very good, both of you. We're doing good with the pronunciation. Now, let's go with another pair. Let me check Ceci Hernandez and Marta de Acosta. Please, Ceci, you are positive. Marta, you are negative. Action. I walk to a school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to a school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live. No, we don't live alone. They use public tra transportation. They don't need a car. That's correct. Excellent, girls. Very good job. Now, listen, my friends, what I want to tell you. Lo que les quiero decir. No nos vayamos a confundir el positive, perdón, el simple present con el verb to be, all right? Son temas aislados, ambos. They are not the same, no son lo mismo. Para el simple present, veamos la structure, all right? Veamos la structure, simple present structure. Para el simple present, ustedes necesitan un subject plus verb plus complement, right? Si se fijan, no les pide el verb to be porque no lo podemos utilizar, all right? Subject plus verb plus complement. That's the structure. This is the most basic structure. Es la estructura más básica que podríamos decir que tenemos en este tiempo gramatical, all right? Y tenemos unos ejemplos pequeños. Number one, I walk to school. Two, I take the bus to work. Simple as that, right? Remember, subject plus verb plus complement. That's your structure. Si ya nos podemos los subject pronouns, ya solo nos queda investigar algunos verbs. Durante el curso, ustedes van a ir adquiriendo más verbos. Como en este caso, ustedes tienen el walk, ride, works, takes, live, and use. En la clase de mañana vamos a aprender por qué algunos llevan ese y por qué otros no. All right? Y cuando utilizamos el negative y cómo lo utilizamos. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it for today's class. Aquí nos vamos a quedar con la clase, right? And it has been a pleasure to see you. Ha sido un placer, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good evening. Bye, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Have a great night.